God's good to us. And, uh, I just, I want to, I just want to get in this work with you. Amen. Romans 12, 3. Romans. Romans 12, 3. <coughs> God's good to us. I know y'all will think I've lost my mind, but I just want to thank the Lord this week for that cold snap we had. Amen. It wasn't as near as hot this week. And I know we all sweated, but it still wasn't heat index, wasn't a triple digits. And no, I thank the Lord for that. Amen. 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 It's merciful. Yes. <clears throat> but it says here, <clears throat> excuse me, for I say, through the grace given unto me to every man that is among you, not thinking of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly according to how the God had dealt to every man a measure of faith. Yeah. Right. You'll go to the book of Luke with me, please. Chapter 4. Luke chapter 4, just let me know when you get there. I know I got it already marked in my Bible, and I, I can be patient. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. God is good to us. I, I want to start at verse 1 of, of Luke 4, because you have to have it all where it don't make sense. And Jesus, began full, being full of the Holy Ghost, returned from Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness. Being forty days tempted of the devil, and in those days he did not eat nothing. And when they were ended, he afterward hungered. And the devil said unto him, If thou be the Son of God, command these stones that it be made bread. Jesus answered him, saying, It is written that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of God. Amen. Amen. Verse 5, And the devil taking him up into a high mountain and showed him, excuse me, showed unto him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time. And the devil said unto him, All this power will I give thee, and the glory of them. For that it delivered unto me, and to whomsoever I will give it. I just want to preach a few minutes to you. Is it good for me? Amen. Is it good for me? Jesus said, Let no man let us pray Lord God as I come before you Lord and I thank you so much Lord for who you are Lord God yes. Lord your word and your instructions Lord Jesus Lord God I don't want my eye never to be taken from the cross Lord that I that I veer left to right Lord Jesus Lord I ask you right now for just a few moments a few minutes whatever you willing to do right now, Lord. I would ask you in a mighty way, Jesus. In a mighty way, in a mighty way, Lord. Lord, let your spirit come forth in this place like it never has before, Lord. Lord, we didn't come here today to do minor things, Lord God. We didn't come to do systematic things, Lord. But Lord, we come to uplift your name, to fill you, your power, your anointing, Lord. And I believe the same way that we got here, Lord. But Lord, we don't want to be undone, Lord God, but we want to be filled, Lord God. Your word says in Malachi that you would pour out a blessing that we would not have room enough to receive it all, Lord. Lord, I ponder on your word, Lord. Lord, I'm looking for the blessing that I have not room enough to receive it, oh Lord. My God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You can be seated if you can. I'd like to go back to Romans real quick. 
And I, I want you to ponder on something, if you will. I looked up a couple of definitions, but I want you to you ponder that the Bible says, and I read it to you, and I pray that you followed along and you didn't think I was reading something somewhere else, but every man, and it's talking woman, child, everybody. Yes. I know the Bible talks more man than anything, but I just the way the Bible's written. But every one of us is given a measure of faith. Right. Brother Bo, in other words, you're going to believe or hope something's going to happen. You're going to believe something. Whether it be, I don't believe that they're God, I don't believe in whatever. I believe there's something out there. I, don't, I believe that uh, as far as I need to go is just repentance. You're going to believe there's a measure of something, amen, that you're going to believe. And I pray that I can make my point across to you today. To, I believe I'm loud enough for that. that that's all right, y'all. I know we have to record, but maybe to pick it up. Amen. But I, I want y'all to grab this today. I want you to understand that. And I, and I shared a little bit of this, but it's all right. I, I just want to bring it to your attention. It's, it's very important. Very important. And I've made mention in the past if Satan will attempt Jesus, I mean, what will he do to us? Right. But I, I want y'all to make sure that what I read to you in Luke verses 5 and 6, that you understand it very plainly. Amen. That the power, amen, of this world down here, amen, was given to Satan to do with it with his will. Right. Not only that, Brother Bo, but he can give it to whoever he wants. Right. It's up to you and I, amen, to make sure that what's laid out in front of us, amen, is of God. Come on. Right. That's what the important that I want to make sure that we understand today. Amen. And I've made mention of this before. Um, and I'll make mention of it again. And it may not make sense to some of you. Amen. But, but back when we would dog hunt a long time ago. And we would use them dogs to hunt. Amen. And we would um, circle up one of them sections. Amen. Where everybody with a shotgun or a rifle. Amen. And we'd let them dogs out. And Every once in a while, somebody would have a dog that would stray off and would jump a deer somewhere else, but not where we had everything stood off at. And when that dog would bark, it would make them other dogs turn and go where that dog is. And we would get ill about that because they would go jump somewhere where we wasn't, amen, prepared, amen, to kill the deer that come through there. Or that we would have a dog... Amen. That would run what we call the cold track. That deer could have been passed by their sister Karen two or three days and it would be hunting, but it would try to trail up something that wasn't there. Amen. And, and today I want y'all to understand you can come to this place or any place. We can all congregate somewhere, anywhere right. and say that we've had Brother Bo church, but are we, amen, in the perfect will of the Lord? Amen. Oh. I, I've said it in 2 Corinthians 11 before I've read it to you that the angel of darkness uh, it's not a great thing for him to turn himself uh, amen into the angel of light. Amen. We, we know what the word says. But I want for us for just a little bit amen to understand the power amen that Satan has. Amen. Not so much the power that he has Amen, but what has been given to him, amen, that you and I, amen, need to check. Amen, that's the importance of the Spirit of God. On, that's the check. importance, amen, that we receive all Come of on. the salvation yeah. and not part of it. Right. Amen, on. there's one thing that Sister Jennifer will tell you about medicine, amen, that the biggest problem that they have, amen, at that hospital is people, amen, get in the hospital 
They take care of them. They send them home with some medicine to take the medicine. And they don't take all the medicine. Right. They get to feeling a little bit good. Amen. And they cut the medicine off. Right. And after a while, after a while, and after a while, their body begins to, that, that, that whatever's wrong with them, begins to build up a resistance. Amen. To the antibiotics. And that's the worst thing that you can do. Well, that's where we at today. Right. Amen. That Satan has built up a resistance. Yes, amen of the things because sister Carrie we're not willing amen to go all, all right. the way yeah, that we yeah. need to have Hallelujah. I want That's to read you right. something Come if you on. would just believe it Come it on. says amen in this word that I want to read to you today that in John, 1 John it says to try the spirit yeah. and see if it's of God right. and he goes a little bit further and says greater is he that is in you amen than he that is in the world right. amen so it's important. Amen. If Satan himself, amen, would take the Lord God, amen, and put him on a high mountain and begin to brag in the things that was given to him and said, if you would just bow and worship me, I would give you the same because it was given to me to do free will with what I want with it. Right, right. Mm -mm. It bothers me. 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 4 says if the gospel be hidden mm -hmm. if it be hidden it's hidden to them that are lost because the God of this world has blinded their eyes that they cannot see I made mention of this sister Karen before church. I said the problem is, I said 20 years ago, Sister Mary, it was this wide, you know, that the Lord's coming back. But I said now, it is narrow and it's narrow and it's narrow. And now we ain't got time. Come on. Amen. We just don't have time, amen, for things, amen, to be laid out before us. And we pick them up, amen, and not know if it's from God. Or if it's from Satan, amen, luring us off. Amen, what the will of God is. It's important, believe it or not, to be in the will of the Lord. I went back and I bent my Bible over because I want to read this for a moment because I believe that, I say I believe, I uh, I believe all of it. But Jesus in Matthew 12, he talks about, Wherefore I say to you, all manner of sin and blasphemy shall be forgiven unto men, but the blaspheming against the Holy Ghost shall not be forgiven unto men. And Sister Karen, I thought about that. Why was it so important, amen, about that? About lying against the Holy Ghost, about lying against that. But yet any other sin can be forgiven. Any other kind of blaspheming can be forgiven, but yet this one cannot be forgiven. Yeah. And I thought about that, and I sat there, and I pondered, and I pondered, and I pondered. I said, well, amen, I, and I thought about it, and I said, well, you know, the Holy Ghost is the most sacred thing. Yes. That's what's going to give you life. Right. That's what's right. going to give amen. me life. That's yes. the one thing, yes. amen, that's not tainted. Amen, because it's going to be them rivers of, of living water that yes. come through here, yes. amen. Yes. That's the one thing, amen, the one antidote that when Satan rises up and begins to put them things in front of you that, that glitter yeah. and things, amen, that is very weighted down. And you know if you pick it up, it's just going to sink you down. And then that's the one thing that's going to lead and to guide you into all truth. Yeah. You know, you yeah. can lie and say, Lord, please forgive me. Yeah. You can cheat and say, Lord, please forgive me. You can slap somebody and say, Lord, please forgive me. But the one thing that you cannot do is taint, amen, the Holy Ghost. Come on, that's right. Come on, church. That's right. You're right. Is it good for me? All these things, Brother Bo, in the world that's available to me, is it good to me? Yeah. 
good to you or good for you. Mm. Right. That's the difference right there. It might be good to you, but it might be terrible for you. Let me read the case. Let me read the case. All right. I know I get loud, but I can't get it. I ain't got time to waste. That's right. I know that sounds ugly, but it just has to sound ugly. I don't have time to waste. First John chapter 4, beloved, beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits, whether they are of God, because many false prophets has gone out into the world. Wow. Try them. See if it's of God. Yeah. Know if it's of God. Yeah. Satan says it's my free will. I can give it to anybody I want. Mm -hmm. Sister Mary, I can lay it all out in front of you. I have that will. What Satan said. I have the will. It was given to me to do with it whatever I want. Yes. Brother Bo, that's why I was pondering on what you was talking about. Or that foundation. About the things being destroyed. One day this world is going to be destroyed. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's right. The lying spirit will be destroyed. Yes. Deceiving spirit will be destroyed. And there's one thing that will still be standing. Come on. It's the Spirit of God. Yes. Okay. That one thing that will lead and guide you. Amen. I watched those Judge Judy clips on that phone, you know, on the YouTube. That Judge Judy, I like to watch her. And when you got them two there, the first sometimes whatever they're, she will ask for a contract mm -hmm. and see if it's signed. And when they begin to linger off of that contract, mm -hmm. she'll say, we're only going to talk about, but she'll take that piece of paper, you know, she's got that voice of her opinion. And she'll say, we're only going to talk about right. what you agreed to. Right. Whatever's on the signed right. contract. And you think about that for just a minute. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have, we have got a covenant Come on. with that's the Lord. Right. That's right. I, I want y'all to understand that. That's all how important about this too. is. <laughs> and he said that I would never leave you nor forsake you. Come on, I want you to understand that. Yeah. And I, he said, I've got grace and I've got mercy here for you. And not only that, that I'm going to give you something so valuable that when I leave here, you don't understand today. Amen. But when I leave here, I'm sending back something. Amen. That's going yes. to lead. And God, I'm sending mm -hmm. back the comforter. Yes. Amen. I'm, 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 I'm just carrying, I'm sending something back that, amen, that you won't be alienated to. But that but when it shows up, amen, it's not going to scare you. Amen. It's going to comfort you. Yes. You're going to know it's of the yes, Lord. Lord. Amen. But the thing that I want you to understand, amen, there's a mimic out there. Amen. There's a false cicada out there. That's and boy, right. he's going to be able, amen, to try to mimic everything, amen, that I try to do. That's amen. Right. To the point that it's going to be a fine line. Amen. Even, even Paul wrote, amen, there'll be a distinct sound. Amen. With them tongues, there'll be a distinct sound. Amen. And, 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 and it'll prick in your spirit. Yes, amen. Yes. Whether it be of God. Right. Amen. Right. Or whether it be of right. Satan. Amen. Amen. Yes. I'm telling you to try the spirit and see if it's of him. Amen. I have been given, amen, the kingdoms, plural, of the world. Amen. And I want you to lavish and look. And all you got to do, amen. I mean, I want y'all to think about this for a minute. He was talking to God in the right. flesh. On, and if you just bow your knee and worship me, I will give you everything that you created. Right. Amen. I don't know. Amen. I'm, I'm telling you. Amen. And if you ain't listening real quick and know who you're dealing with, that sounds real good that I'll give you. If you'll just bow your knee, all you got to do, that's effortless. Just bow your knee and worship right. me. 
I will give you something, amen, that you created. Right. Come on now. <laughs> I get that man, you're right. You got yeah. your eyebrows, and that don't make no sense, right? <laughs> man. The Spirit of God. Mm -mm. Satan. Prince of this air. Yes, he is. Jesus. Isaiah wrote this. I ain't going to hold you long. Sister, I want to pray for your body. God going to do something today for you. Come on. Hallelujah. I'm going to feel the Spirit of God. I'm going to read you this. Isaiah 8. Verse 11. For the Lord spake thus to me with a strong hand and instructed me that I should not walk in the way of this people, saying. Goes on to down to verse 16. Amen. This was the commandment. Bind up the testimony. Come. Come on. Seal the law among my disciples. The Lord spoke with a strong hand, with authority, in other words, to instruct me, amen, that I shouldn't walk, amen, in the way that everybody else is walking, amen. And the commandment was for me to bind up, tighten up the law for my disciples, amen, make it proof, bulletproof, make sure that they know and understand the Spirit of God is real, church. Yes. <clears throat> Do not be caught. Please do not be caught. Being coerced. Brother Bo, we skip, jump, and do cartwheels. When Jesus said, in my Father's house are many mansions. And I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go to prepare a place for you, I'll come back and see you in my own. And if it were not so, I would have told you. And we all just get all ooey, ooey, ooey about that. But when Jesus says, except you be born of the water and spirit, we want to buck a little bit. I don't believe the Lord would have said anything to us that we didn't need. That's right. That's right. I love the Lord Church. He's good to me. But I'm here to tell you there's a deceiving spirit out there. Mm -hmm. Make sure, amen, what is presented in front of you is of the Lord. And not of Satan. 